Hey, what's up, Thrift Fam? Welcome to another video from the TSP. That's right, the thrift store prepper. And it does seem a little bit strange to be making a video after the Five Nights Live of Spring Break. And I certainly hope that everybody who did participate in our viewed Spring Break for as much as they can enjoyed it. And we certainly are appreciative of the new members of the Thrift Fam who found us and joined in um, and now are part of the furniture after the events and fun and frolicking of Spring Break. So it's a little bit back to normal now for the TSP and the Thrift Store Prepper. And as you can see, we've put the Mr. Noodles, the fireplace place little shit prepper baby and binocular boy in a more familiar left hand position i don't know if that was what was putting us a little bit out of sync in that final um night of life feeds in possibly a little bit of an anti-climax for some of you that may be expecting something a little bit better for the um finale in the last day but in many ways it possibly was a little bit of a day too far. And as I did mention within that live feed that uh, I had given you up to that point around 20 hours of live viewing up until that point. And that's something I have never, ever done before in my life. So something I can uh, tick off my um, bucket list or off my resume or CV if you're back in England is I've now broadcast five nights in a row live and provided 20 hours of live improvised ad lib content, which is... I don't know if I should be impressed or that or whether I just talked a whole a lot of shit for 20 hours. But that was a lot of time that we got to share together, Thrift Fam. And I hope the, 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 the purpose of this was for me to spend some more time with you, you to spend some more time with me. And more importantly, we all spent time together and just strengthened that little bonds of this little small but happy and laughing thrift store community. Um, so we had a lot of talk about um, many different things, predictive programming. We looked at trailers and basically what I was doing in that was give me a little bit of a platform live to practice some of the ideas and things that maybe I've had bouncing on my head that possibly, you know, maybe hit or miss if you make a video. But the more important thing is it's given me a lot of um, information um, and guidance as to where to possibly go forward and how we are going to expand the thrift store going forward forward um so before we go into any more about that i want to just stop and say a personal and deep sincere thank you to the three wench wrenches who did such a great job and um certainly were the stars of the show in the live chat through this last week in spring break um and i will get around to trying to put together a little something special for you all as soon as I can and another special thank you to each and every one of you who so generously and graciously donated to the TSP tip jar um and that is going to be something that I'm going to use to give back a little bit to the wench wretches after this special week just as only a little one-off special thank you for all the efforts and you know having to put in the five nights of wrench wenching in the thrift store live feed and again those of you that have shown so much generosity and kindness in your support for the thrift store prepper this last week that has been unbelievable and very overwhelming. So I thank each and every one of you who did that. Um, so thumbs up and hopefully, you know, that's going to um, help to improve and expand the uh, thrift store prepper channel from here on out. And uh, hopefully we'll be able to get some more giveaways going and certainly it's going to help with uh, the equipment upgrades and things that I'm, I'm going to be bringing in in the next week, hopefully, that should make live streams and things maybe a little bit it diff, um, easier and again on that last day we did hit quite a few bizarre snags and um, and uh, normalities and here if we were in the live show one of you would be telling me how to phonetically say that but we had some um normalities going on on that last day we blacked out we got shut down we got some copyright stuff going on and um we did see some we weird behavior from my backup phone now, I actually do think that's because it really is on its last, last legs. Um, 
rather than any technological um, undoings. But who knows? Artificial intelligence is real. The technological threat is upon us. We're in that Dawn Terminator Robocop um, Blade Runner. That is, if not already here, not too far away. And they're trying to hook us up and get us involved as much as we can with interacting with the machinery as much as possible. But at the thrift store prep, we're trying to get each other more involved with each other as humans and conversing although it be through a virtual platform we are still talking in 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 real time in live time with the these um live shows and these live feeds you know getting to spend five hours of interacting um with other people even via you know text messages and in, in live board is still very very healthy for the mind and it generated a lot of conversations and as i said the live feeds were were generated as much from you um as much as they were from me and without you i probably couldn't have got through all of those hours that we did but as i said towards the end i didn't realize the kind of strain on the mind it would have and possibly a little bit um you know we did have um some emotional candid and um um very you know real moments that, that you couldn't really have planned and um you know i, I did get a little bit uh, affected by talking about by um jail experience and i think that did linger a little bit into the following day and combined with the fact that it was the last day it's kind of hard to get a little bit of uh excited for me anyway about how you know the last time you can do something in spring break was drawing to an end and not only was it the end of me getting to hang out with you it's just a little end of me getting away um from the kitchen and getting some r and r and some much important couple of afternoons out in the sunshine but the community spirit is what we were hoping to grow and the community spirit has grown and talks of merchandise and things like this has been taken on board. We will be getting something sorted out with that in the very um, not distant future and um you know those of you who have offered to help with designs and things like that you know i can't thank you enough um the email is the thrift store prepper at gmail.com the thrift store prepper being all one word and um, you can drop me a line and send me any ideas or, or or things you might like to see on the show there if you don't want to be commenting on the channel i do get a lot of people who are silent viewers um and it's those messages that kind of mean as much to me if not more than some of the comments that are on the board not that i don't appreciate all of your comments don't think that for um a minute but we we've got a little bit of something special going on here that i kind of didn't possibly think would ever ever come to be or happen and, and certainly you know the thoughts of having you know t-shirts and thought made for this channel were were just ludicrous to me at one point of time but here they are we're actually contemplating things like that and that is actually something that i want to give you you've asked for it so i'm trying to give you it um as much as you want so spring break has been and gone i'm back to work um and as i said that did give me a little bit of a taste of what maybe it could be if this was my real everyday job and I didn't have to go to the kitchen um now I don't think I'm going to be able to do this full time for uh you know a living or certainly not yet or any time soon but it certainly would be something of a, a little bit of a dream or maybe a goal of mine to, to push for to find a way that I can make this my earning my living um and and what can come of this be it you know some of the things that probably i shouldn't mention too much just in case ideas are stole but i do have some ideas in the pipeline and you know merchandise was something you mentioned and something that i am now adding to the idea list of how i can expand this and probably make it work for me in terms of being able to make part of a living as i said if i could do this for the majority of the week and go part-time in the kitchen as i said i do enjoy the place that i work and the people that i work with for most time not so much during the nba lucky for me i go in on sunday tomorrow um or later today because it's gone midnight but i go back to work later today and i miss game seven thank goodness the mercies of a little shit be upon us um but anyway, so that's about it, Thrift Fam. I'm going to keep this down to 10 minutes. So this is actually the 149th video I've met made so far for the thrift store prepper channel although it is the 150th if you consider the one that got deleted but the next one will be the tsp 150th um 
episode special edition live feed so we'll be live with you this coming tuesday and as always people it's been a ship video production for the thrift store prepper thank you for all your kind words comments and for all your viewing over spring break i hope you enjoyed this little video thrift fam and as i said we're just getting back to feeling what it like to make a, a little video for you after all the live feed so thanks everyone and May spring break 2019 live long, long in our hearts. So as I said, this is, as always, video production for the thrift store prepper. Take it easy, thrift fam. We'll catch you next time in the 150th episode live special. Who knows what can happen and will happen with that event. See you next time.